Hello and welcome to another edition of the one-on-one -on -one sports webcast. I'm your host Cam Soselski and on the ticket today we have the best side jobs in sports. We have NCAA basketball, but to kick us off, Ellie and Jenny are here to talk some way too early MLB predictions. Now, guys, to get us going, Jenny, tell me who is going to be the rookie of the year in the MLB this year. Well, it's got to be Corey Seager from the LA Dodgers. He's just been great, probably the best prospect in baseball. He has put up great numbers in every level in the minor leagues he's played in, and he got to the major leagues, played 27 games, just had a great time with that. And I think playing his full season, he's going to be great, going to have to be rookie of the year. There's almost no competition in the National I League. I don't agree with that. Um, I think that Corey Seager just is. Kyle Seeger's younger brother, just as good. I don't think so. I think the rookie of the year will definitely be A.J. Reed. He's also had very impressive stats um, in the Astros organization in the minors. He may also start in the minors, but I think he'll definitely quickly work his way up and will be rookie of the year. Well, I think the thing about A.J. Reed, though, is that he's in the American League and there's a lot of competition there. Whereas in the National League, it really seems like it's Corey Seager, who's mm. the runaway guy with that for the but rookie of the year. also, there is a rookie of the year in the National and American League. Hey, right. maybe, maybe they'll, <laughs> maybe maybe they they'll both. both win it. Maybe they'll both win it. I don't know. Both very talented guys for sure. Um, now moving from uh, rookies to pitchers, Ellie, who is going to be the Cy Young winner this year? Cy Young winner, I'm going with Madison Bumgarner for the Giants. I think that he should have won before, and it's this is his year. He did have a rough year in 2015, and I think that that is not to be expected in 2016. I would definitely say that it is his year, and I would also say that the Giants may even be a contender for the World Series. Mm. Well, I mean, the Giants, it is an even year, so they might have that, but I think it's going <laughs> to be, I think it's going to be Matt Harvey who's going to do that. He came off his Tommy John surgery a couple years ago, usually the second season back, you come back even better. He's the Dark Knight of Gotham, is the best pitcher on the Mets rotation, which has been called by some analysts the best in baseball. And mm. if he's a standout guy on the best rotation, then he's got to be the best of the best. Yeah, Harvey is a very, very interesting case because, you know, when guys have Tommy Johns, it seems to go either way. Either they come back, you know, stronger, better than ever, or they kind of, you know, go downhill after the surgery. So it'll be interesting to see what happens with him. Moving on, uh, who is your MVP candidate? My MVP year? is Bryce Harper from the Washington Nationals. He was the unanimous National League MVP last year at only 22 years old. Mm. And I mean, at 23, even if he doesn't put up a season as a, that gets him a unanimous vote, he's still not even in his prime, and he's like the best player in baseball. I gotta say that he's really always the MVP. Mm. Always the MVP. <laughs> um, I can't argue with your stats about Bryce Harper, but I'm going with Carlos Correa from the Astros, the reigning um, Rookie of the Year. I definitely think that he is just going to prevail with the Astros um, team as they went into the playoffs, and he was a big proponent with 22 home runs in the season, and I definitely think that he is the, um, excuse me, the MVP of baseball. You're really liking the Astros over there. <laughs> big, big year for the Astros, maybe. Uh, talking about teams, though, um, Ellie, who is going to win the World Series this year? I think the Chicago Cubs. They had an impressive year last year with their run in the playoffs, and uh, they haven't won a World Series since 1908. Mm. I definitely think that it's a time, as uh, the Cubs fans, I'm sure, hope so as well. They have so much young talent with Chris Bryant, Anthony Rizzo, and also their veterans with John Lester and Jake Arrieta that I think that they will lead high into the playoffs, if not the World Series champions this year. What do you think, Jen? I have to go with the New York Mets. They beat the Cubs last year. They really kept most of the same players, who a lot of them are young and are just going to be getting better. Mm. They look like a great team going in. They made it to the World Series last year. I think that there's no reason they can't well, do it again. I agree they did make it to the World Series last year, and they did beat the Cubs. But however, I think that the Cubs are in it to win it. I mm. think that both of them are going to be contenders, but I think it's the Cubs year. Yeah, honestly, I think those two are going to be neck and neck at the top of the National League standings the, all, the whole year. But at the end of the day, it's who's going to get it done in the playoffs. Obviously, it's a little early to tell. We'll see how the season plays out, but uh, thank you guys for your predictions. That's all for this block of the one-on-one -on -one sports webcast. Up next, we talk about athletes with side jobs. Stay tuned.